I used to say the most fun time of my life was my five years at University of Miami. I mean, when you were winning the way we were winning, national television almost every other week, beating the best teams in the country, winning the national championship, bringing in kids from inner cities and seeing them get their education. I said it was the best time of my life, but I've changed. The best time of my life is right now. The reason? Family. The word resonates louder and clearer now for Jimmy Johnson, who rose to prominence as coach of the University of Miami and Dallas Cowboys. He is an NFL Hall of Famer. But sacrifices were made. The football family came first. In 1989, Johnson was divorced from Linda Kay, his college sweetheart. Sons Chad and Brad? They both played football. I never saw either one of them play football. Other family dynamics eventually took precedence. Chad fell into the throes of drug addiction as an adult, and Johnson felt helpless. There were nights Jimmy cried himself to sleep. He had all the money in the world, but not enough to save his son from his addictive tendencies. I was away from home so much, you know, I, I didn't realize Chad was having struggles, but, but he had major, major struggles. On the surface, Jimmy Johnson was living a life of envy. Two-time Super Bowl champion with the Cowboys, a national championship with the Hurricanes. Success that came naturally in many ways because of his work ethic. He climbed to the top of every mountain, but the footing was treacherous when it came to caring for the people closest to him. Then Dolphins owner Wayne Huizenga said three words that have stuck with Johnson till this day. Quality time left, QTL. What happened when I was at the Miami Dolphins, my mother passed away. I saw mother laying there and I realized with my family, with my sons, I'd missed out on so much. And I knew right then and there that was going to be my last year of coaching. Johnson left his last coaching gig after the 1999 season and never looked back. But his biggest markers of success? Reconnecting with his sons, finding love again with his second wife, Rhonda, whom he married in 1999. Yeah, you know, she's my best friend. Uh, we enjoy doing the same things together. We enjoy a couple of little dogs at our house. Now, she plays pickleball and plays tennis, and I go fishing, so we have our time apart. And Chad, he's come full circle by starting a treatment center, Tranquil Shores, in St. Petersburg in 2009. He has such a passion for it. He has saved so many lives. I, I, I talk, they have a client reunion uh, for the facility, and I've spoken there a few times. And I hear these stories, mothers and daddies saying, Chad, thanks for saving my son's life. At 78, Johnson has the age and wisdom to show the importance of resetting priorities as you grow older. He had checked off all the other markers as a former player and coach, finding the drive and passion to succeed in life. I guess you might say that I've been fortunate that we won every place I ever was. You know, we won in high school, we won in college, won a national championship undefeated team in college. Along the way, Johnson embraced challenges of following legends in the profession. He replaced Howard Schellenberger at the University of Miami. He followed Tom Landry at Dallas and Don Shula at Miami. In every situation I went into it, I said, hey, you know, you know, I'm following some outstanding individuals, but just give me a chance to do what I do. I didn't always think I was gonna win. I always knew I was going to win. Uh, there was never a doubt at whatever we were doing. Because if we came up short, uh, I was going to work that much harder. If we came up short, I was going to make changes to where we would win. 81, 34, and 3 as a college coach at Oklahoma State in Miami. Six of nine winning seasons in the NFL, including those two Super Bowl trophies. It's understandable why some of the best minds in sports, not just football, visit Johnson in the Upper Keys in Florida, where he lives now. They are looking to learn life lessons that can be applied to the world of sports. Among the lessons, embrace risk-taking. I always looked at it this way. I said, uh, you know, you want to play it safe and be good, or you want to take a chance and be great? And you might say I've taken chances in my life. But, you know, people come down the Keys all the time and say, well, 
you know, what are you looking for in talent? You know, what are you looking for to hire a coach or assistant coach? I said, give me somebody that's intelligent, that's very passionate about what they do, that works night and day. I don't care what they know, they'll be successful. Johnson is equally fluent in making a successful transition away from the football field. He owns a restaurant in Key Largo called Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill. And for years, he has enjoyed great pride and success as an NFL analyst on Fox. But most importantly, the view from the mountaintop now includes those who matter most to him. In many ways, he is now living his best life, QTL. Well, I, I've enjoyed each day, every day I've been alive <laughs> from day one. And so that's not gonna change. I don't feel any different than that you know, little 17 year old in Port Arthur, Texas, uh, washing trucks on the weekend and, and you know, hey, just enjoying every day. My family life with my wife Rhonda and my sons and granddaughters and daughter-in-law, you know, on and on. It, I mean, it couldn't be any better. I'm happier now than I've ever been in my entire life.